Moving on to some other big news of the day, we now know that flight MH3, uh, MH17 rather, was shot down by a Russian-made missile. That's the conclusion announced by Dutch investigators today. The Malaysian airline crashed in eastern Ukraine in July last year. It was on its way from Kuala Lumpur to Amsterdam. Nearly 300 people were killed. Charlie Dagada has details of the report. Russia has already said it doesn't dispute Dutch findings that a missile brought the plane down. The disagreement is about the age of the missile used and that Ukrainian forces, not Russia, were responsible for the 298 deaths in July last year. The aeroplane above the left hand side of the cockpit. They've rebuilt the cockpit and fuselage from the wreckage, employing the same kind of techniques used in the investigation of Pan Am 103 after it exploded over Lockerbie, Scotland, back in 1988. They also reconstructed the flight. Flight MH17 enters Ukrainian airspace. All 298 people on board were killed, the casualties of a war they had nothing to do with being waged 33,000 feet below. The vast majority were Dutch nationals, which is why that country has taken the lead in the investigation. Most everybody, except Russia, blames Russia that the missile was fired either by its own forces or the separatists it backs. But earlier this morning, the Russian company that makes the missile believed responsible contended the plane was shot down by a missile launched by Ukrainian forces from government-held territory. The Dutch findings stop short of naming which side pulled the trigger, and they'll bring little comfort for these heartbroken relatives who may now know the what and the why, but are still asking who. The answer to that question will be down to the findings of a separate criminal investigation, also led by the Dutch, which won't be complete until the end of this year or maybe the beginning of next. Vlad and Meg. Major General Robert Latif of the University of Notre Dame joins us now to talk about this in detail. Uh, sir, thanks for being with us. How accurate do you think this report by Dutch investigators is? Uh, I have no reason to think that it's not uh, completely accurate. Uh, the, the science, uh, forensic science involved in making these kind of conclusions is fairly straightforward. Uh, so I, I would think it's quite accurate. So Dutch investigators say it was a, a Buick missile. Can you explain what that is exactly? Well, a Buick missile is uh, clearly a, a surface-to-air missile, very capable. Uh, it, you might think in terms of a comparison, while it's not completely accurate, but a comparison with the U.S. Patriot missile system. It has a, a acquisition and targeting radar, command and control system, and then the missile itself. Uh, sir, we have a video from a Russian state-controlled missile company showing off a missile, and they say it proves that the one used to shoot down MH17 was an older model that is no longer used by the Russians. Do you think that their argument is plausible? Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure what their argument is if it's no longer used by the Russians. Uh, that doesn't prove anything. Uh, in, in fact, when you look at countries like Russia and ours and others who export weapons, lethal weapons, they rarely export the top of the line systems. So uh, it would make sense that uh, whomever gave this missile system to the Russian separatists, if that's who it was, uh, would not have sent them their, their latest and greatest versions. Looking at the bigger picture for a moment, as an international community, how can we keep lethal weapons out of the wrong hands? Uh, in terms of keeping them out of the wrong hands, it's, we probably don't have much of a chance of doing that. Those kinds of decisions to provide lethal weapons to others are political decisions. Um, I think we probably have a better chance of appealing to the professionalism of the militaries involved in making sure that if we're going to provide these lethal systems, we provide them with adequate training, adequate safety systems, uh, adequate overrides. And, and those type of technology uh, and training capabilities. Major General Ladiff, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.